Hey guys, uh, this is Mr. Barthold speaking, and uh, we're doing an example of adding vectors like we've been doing in class. And this time we're going to do with three vectors. Uh, I know a lot of you all have two down, but adding that third one, I get you know, kind of get freaked out a little bit. So um, I've already done the first two, and you know how to do the first two vectors. So go ahead and uh, pause the video and give you time to do those yourselves if you like. And uh, it, if not, then, then keep on trucking. So go ahead and pause the video if you like. For this one, I chose a scale of 1 centimeter equals 50 newtons. Uh, if we notice, they're all divisible by 50. And this one would be 2, because 50 times 2 is 100. 50 times 5 is 250. And 50 times 8 is 400. So those are good, good size vectors. And so we should have something that looks like this, if you've done this on your own. And so notice we have uh, 125 degrees, that's 5 centimeters long, and, um, excuse me, 2 centimeters long, 100 degrees, and that is 340. Um, remember we flip our protractor over and measure that um, 340 degree angle. So now, with the third force, all you got to do is just start from the end of the last one. Remember, the second force, you went to the end of the first one and drew the second one. So now, for the third force, we just go to the end of the second one and remeasure and draw it out. So we see that our angle is 270 degrees. Uh, you can actually measure that out. We don't know that's 180 is to the left. We add 90 more to get 270. Or if you know that 270 is straight down, then you know more power to you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mark that. It's just going to be straight down. And now we have 400 newtons, which using our scale of 50, again, 50 times blank equals 400, 50 times 8 equals 400. So it's got to be 8 centimeters long. Uh, I can be a little more accurate than that. 8 centimeters. And so some of y'all are thinking like, whoa, it crosses that one. Is that okay? Yes, that is perfectly fine. Remember, that we're not actually, what we're doing is just a mathematical tool for adding the vectors. I mean, physically, the physics, the most important thing behind this is the, the idea of the net force. That the net force is the combination of, all, of these three forces right here. And if we're trying to determine, you know, if we combine these three, three different strengths of forces um, at all these weird angles, you know, what's the, what's the overall result going to be? What is that net force? And so this is just a mathematical tool. It's okay if they cross, um, so, so don't forget about that. So now that we've finished with our third vector, just like the, we did with two, we're going to draw our net force from the dot to the end of our last vector, which is, in this case, this one right here. So we're just drawing a line. Maybe some of y'all at this point are, are saying, is that it? Is that all we got to do? Yep, that's all you got to do. And uh, obviously, we're going to label this. Oops, and I didn't label my last one. Shame on me. Hopefully, y'all are sitting there at home saying, you didn't label that last one, Mr. Michael. So F3. This one was uh, 8 centimeters long and 400. I like to put both the length and the, the magnitude just to remind me. And so this net force is, do the same process with uh, measuring the length of it. And I'm, I'm getting 4 point, from the center of my dot here, 4.6 centimeters. Again, using our scale, each centimeter equals 50 newtons, so 4.6 times 50 is going to be 30, carry the 3, and 23. We have an extra zero here, but remember, you put the decimal point right there. So 230. So our net force is, whenever we combine all these, you know, 400, 100, 250, you don't just add them all up, because remember, a vector has these forces are pulling in different directions. So the net force is going to be 230 newtons at a specific direction, which in this case 
uh-oh, it's past 180, so we're going to flip our protractor over. And if we need to extend it a little bit, have a little ruler just to kind of make it a little more accurate. And that looks to be about, call that 78, 70, I like 79, 79 degrees. So this, this to the right is 180. Then we add 79 to get 952, so 259 degrees. So our net force, 259, or excuse me, 230 newtons in the direction of 259 degrees. So again, all of our forces are labeled, our net force is clearly marked, and we have both the direction and the magnitude of the final vector. So again, with three vectors, all you do, you simply do, the, you know, you do one, you do two, and then you add the thir third one on to the end. If we had four vectors, from the end of the third one, you draw the fourth one, whichever way it may be, and then now your net force would be from the dot to the end of that last vector. If we have five vectors, it doesn't really matter how many vectors, you just keep on adding them until you're done. Your net force is just from the dot to the end of the last vector. Alrighty, so hope you all got something out of this. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, again, you can always ask me. Uh, I'm more than happy to help you. So take care, hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you all in class.